have some surprisingly nice weather today for February. It's 56 degrees out. So we're going to see if we can fix this today. I've got some new paint and some new information. So hopefully I will be more successful this time. We're going to have to strip it down again because the paint job came out poorly and the coloring is wrong anyways. And then I'm going to apply multiple thinner coats of the new paint. This is the new uh, paint that I got for round two. This is Satin Protective Enamel. And it's this color. And the old one that I used the first time was this color. This was not the correct color. I don't know what I was thinking. This is definitely much closer to what it should be. So we'll try coating in this and uh, See what happens. This is already a much better looking color. All right, that's it for coat one. I'm gonna let it dry. What I wanted to mention before I paint it, and I forgot to, is that these pits in the finish here are not imperfections in the paint, like I thought they were. That's an issue with the with the bulb, the, the, bulb, the fixture itself. I took it down to the bare metal, and that was still there. So that's always gonna be there, I guess. But uh, at least in comparison to that one out there, this color looks a lot more accurate. So, I let this dry. I think this is like uh, 10 or 20 minutes. Uh, what does it say here? Uh, I think it's like 10 to 20 minutes per, per coat. I'll let that dry. We'll do a few more coats throughout the rest of the evening before the sun goes down. And I think we'll be good this time. It went from warm and sunny to cold and ugly very quickly. But I got the light painted and I cleaned everything up. Let's go take a look at the way it come out. So here's the light now. This is what it looked like. And I'm pretty content with the way it come out. It's still a little tacky so we can't really work on it today. But uh, I put three coats of paint on there. And other than the texture, which you can see where the light's reflecting, it looks really good. And so, this is how it'll stay. I'm going to keep note of this paint, and I will use this paint again on future streetlight projects like this. What I will not do again is use this. This was not the right thing to use, because... You can see here, 
that uh, the texture is visible. I'm not going to fuss over it in this case because this is street light. It's not something that you're going to look at real close. It's going to be high up on the ceiling. And I'm standing back from the light about maybe a meter and a half right now. And I can, I can barely see the texture anymore. It looks pretty nice. So once this is in place up on the wall, it's probably not even going to be noticeable. But I would not use that thing again. Unless there was like a horrific amount of rust or something. I think a, a fine grade sandpaper would have been a better option. The, the wire brush definitely has its use cases, but this was not the correct one. So that's, I could correct it. I would have to go over the whole thing again and, and really take it down to the, to the, um, to the surface and then just keep going uh, finer and finer sandpaper until it becomes smooth. But it's not, it's just not necessary. There's no point. So, so this is what it looked like now. This is the right color and yeah this is pretty good so i learned how to spray paint that's going to be a useful a useful skill in the future i like the second can that i got it had adjustable sprays and one of them was just like a vertical line as opposed to a circular output and i think that makes a ton more sense for something like this so i'm going to look for that type of can next time I need spray paints so um, that's concluding the painting and that was the last thing I needed to do outside so now I can keep pushing this project uh, without having to wait for weather so next we have to clean the inside of this because this is still kinda grungy on the inside here so we'll clean all that out we'll clean out the um, the lens or not the lens the this piece here the, where the light bulb goes then we have to cut a new lens I have a piece of, of uh, plexiglass that we can use we'll cut a new lens and then we have to wire it back up in uh, ballast bypass configuration so we got a ways to go but this was the hold up because I needed a good weather day so now we got this I'll let it dry I don't know how long it takes before it's fully dry it's definitely still pretty tacky right now so I don't want to mess with it at all probably let it sit overnight and I'll do this another day